perhaps with younger people. Yes. You know, yes. Per perhaps helping the elderly. There, there might be, you know, there, you, you pick your own population mm -hmm. and you pick what you want to study and you pick what you want to teach. Well, it shows, the, with what I like about the numerology, it shows what we, are, as an individual, what our needs are, mm -hmm. okay? And say, for instance, you have children, well, you may have all these ideals that you think your child should do. Well, that child may be a person that wants to be in the background, may not want to be mm -hmm. in right. front. Right. Again, you may be shy, but your child wants to be in front, wants to uh, sort of be uh, the head of the parade sort sure, of thing. Sure, sure. So it's an understanding. Mm -hmm. um, what your numbers show you is an understanding, like you said, a map right. of what's there. And as Josie said, now you make your choices. Right, right. Yeah. And what are those choices? And, you know? and you can appreciate the choices that others around you make recognizing yes. what's true and valid for them versus it's not what I had in mind, but hey, it seems like a really good path. Yes, and you know, to be honest, you don't need numerology to do what we're talking oh, no. about because just being open that someone else is different than you and enjoying the differences, mm -hmm. that's that's what life is really all about. Right. And that's where new things always happen. If, um, a minister that, uh, he has passed away, his name was Tom Walburn, and he said, you can be like this, or you can be like this. When you're like this, it's like, it's end endless, <laughs> you know, because the vibrations that you bring towards you when you're open, there's always something to be fulfilling. Right. It, it never ends, it's like, it's, it's, it really is endless. When your hands are like this, they're clutching, and you can't you can't let go of what you have. That's right. And you can't get anything new. Right. No, nothing it's, can fit in. Nothing yeah, there's no more room. There's no right. more when room. you're clutching. Yes. Right. And, yes. And, and wanting something to be just a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I know most of us, if we've lived long enough, have stories about unanswered prayers or prayers that were answered with a no that turned out to be real blessings. Right. That right. it's a good thing I didn't yeah. get what I wanted back then. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I wouldn't have been ready for it, or that isn't really what I wanted at all. Mm -hmm. My, uh, this is, I've always meditated, as, even as a kid, but I didn't know I was meditating. And um, there were certain things that I, like you say, would want. And maybe it would take 20 years later to find out mm. all that, what, why it wasn't good for me, mm -hmm. you know? And here again, it's a letting go. In other words, if you want something in particular, I'm not talking about a car or a house or that type of thing. I'm talking mm -hmm. about a spiritual fulfillment. And maybe you're doing this with that idea mm -hmm. instead of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, that's, that's where the opening needs to come in right. to say, we're not in a box where it's like open-ended. Right. And, you well, know. I mean, it's just interesting what you what you're showing when you're doing this. You, you are cutting yourself off.